Yeah. Were you yeah. surprised by the success you've had? You're the highest rated comedy show on cable. Uh, I, I, I'm very flattered and grateful for that. I'm surprised, yes. yes. Yeah, that's the correct answer, right? Yeah. Pleasantly and uh, And what makes you a good dad? Everything. Next question. I mean, is there anything in particular that... <laughs> it's nobody's business, man. That's yeah. between me and my kids, you know? It's been a tough few months for you. There's a lot of things that the people aren't aware of. Denise Richards alleges that Bob and Max have slapped, punched, spat on her children. One of the photos of Bob, there is a burn mark or slap mark. How difficult was it for you to have to give them up? There's a lot of elements involved that... Uh, made it very, very difficult. Denise caught in the middle of Hollywood's ugliest custody battle between her ex, Charlie Sheen, and his ex, Brooke Mueller. 12 days ago, Denise handed over her responsibilities as Bob and Max's guardian. The details of why she outlined in a letter she privately sent to Child Protective Services. Child Protective Services. November the 5th, that seven-page letter went viral, and allegations of the boys being violent to dogs and playing with their feces went public. My children disclosed just sexual abuse in early 1993. They were masturbating. They were pulling their pants down at the uh, supermarket. They started having oral sex with my St. Bernard. Inserting, uh, inserting pens and pencils into the dog's rectum. The behavior got worse and worse and worse. I knew I had a big, big problem, and I had no idea what it was called. I called all over the country. I had children's drawings for the police. My husband was under arrest for sodomy and oral sex with my children. And I had all kinds of drawings that had circles and people with, uh, there was black candles always in the middle of these tables. and and all this uh, oral and anal sex pictures. And I went to the Catholic Church and I said, I don't know what this is, but it seems to me these, these drawings are significant. There are all kinds of symbols I don't understand and, and uh, devil heads and, and goat's heads. And I had no idea what, I did not know what satanic ritual abuse was. What was your first reaction when you found out and saw that the I, letter got leaked? I was actually here at work. Um, I couldn't, I was sick about it. I couldn't even look at anything, and um, I was angry because it was. Uh, and then I stopped and had to remember, oh my God, what did I write in that? Because it was so, it was a very personal thing. I was embarrassed, and why would you be embarrassed? Well, You've because it was such, such a, a personal thing. thing.
I was angry because it was, uh, and then I stopped and had to remember, oh my God, what did I write in that? Because it was so, it was a very personal thing. I was embarrassed and. Why would you be embarrassed? Well, because it was such, such a, a personal thing, thing and yeah. I was sick about it. And then I thought maybe I didn't, maybe I should have done it differently and put it in a cart. I don't know. I don't want a toxic relationship with him. That's not to say we have our little moments and you know, whatever, <laughs> but we get past it the next day. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. The casting couch even applies to children. Oh yeah. Not in the same way. It's all done under the radar. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. And it's widespread? Oh yeah. I was surrounded by them when I was 14 years old. Surrounded. Literally. Didn't even know it. It wasn't until I was old enough to realize what they were and what they wanted and what they were about and the types of people that were surrounding me till I went, oh my God, they were everywhere like vultures. Vultures who Feldman says abused him and his best friend, the late child actor Corey Haim, his co-star in The Lost Boys. Well, what happens if my mom is dating the head vampire? Feldman says the trauma of that pedophilia contributed to Haim's death. There's one person to blame in the death of Corey Haim, and that person happens to be a Hollywood mogul. And that person needs to be exposed, but unfortunately I can't be the one to do it. But the person that knows who did it and knows who he is, is watching right now, I guarantee you. person to blame in the death of Corey Haim, and that person happens to be a Hollywood mogul, and that person needs to be exposed, but unfortunately I can't be the one to do it. But the person that knows who did it, and knows who he is, is watching right now, I guarantee you. Hmm.